All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. And today we're reacting to highlights from the House of Highlights. Y'all, Some of y'all know that I am uh, affiliated with them as a person that works with them occasionally. So we have like savage moments. And we say like montages or um, compilations of savage moments in the NBA before on a bunch of different channels. But somebody told me that the House of Highlights one has a bunch of savage moments that you forgot. So here we go. Let's see if we actually forgot. Shout out to all my boys, my boy Zemo, my boy GD, uh, the guys that are actually working behind the scenes for House of Highlights. Let's get it. Beautiful logo. Start off with something during the Miami Heat Big Three era. Ooh, this is Amari Stoudemire in the playoffs. He uh he had had enough. And you like what's the seventh moment here? Here it is. Here it is. And Shane Vatty didn't like that one bit. He didn't like that one bit, but Amari Stoudemire fouled out, and they end up uh, losing that series, this game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Amari Stoudemire, though. You know, good season. Some good season. Yusuf Nurkic put the ball in his chest, gave him a bucket. And who is that, too? Is that Marcus Morris? Markeith Morris? Oh, oh, Nurkic, you a brave man to go at one of the twins, my G, because them boys, they, be, they are ready to fight. And it looks like Markeith to me, but they're they're literally twins. See you know what I'm saying? They're literally twins. So it could I could be wrong here. Could be wrong here. Alright. Danny Green in the paint. Bobby. Oh, did he just give him the ball? Oh, he yelled at him or he stared him down? Wow, Bobby. Bobby, you can't do him like that. What's the beef? Oh well, everybody remember this moment. You can't have a savage NBA moments compilation without this one. Because, I mean, Jason Terry had a good NBA career, but this is the moment I think about with Jason Terry. All the big shots he has hit mean nothing because of this right here. And then LeBron stared down. Jeez. Jeez. And then the fact that he didn't, like, have a real reaction other than the stare down me makes it look so much better. Dwayne Wade on, on Virgil. Made the legs go up in the air. Come on, man. That's nasty. That's nasty. Dwayne Wade. Too good, bro. We got to watch a Dwayne Wade compilation. Maybe this is the moment LeBron was like, you know what? One day I think I want to play for this man. I'm Not play for this man. Play with this man. Because uh, if he doing stuff like this on seven foot people, we know that this man got it. And uh, Yeah, Dwayne Wade had it and he still got it. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Dwayne Wade. Just, just absolutely obliterated him. Okay, we're in the finals here. Tiago split to block LeBron. Yep. So, okay. It's not, so far, it's not things that we don't remember. But it's okay to get a refresher. It's okay to get a refresher on the final series. Tiago split a thought he had a bucket, bro. No good. All right. Bobby again. No. Oh, he keep away from Anthony Davis. Bro, if you can play keep away with another dude that's close to seven foot, this man is not human, bro. This man this is not human, bro. And Anthony Davis can't do nothing but smile about it. Okay. Tyler Johnson blocked by Hunter Gomez. White side dunks on Justin Holiday and stares him down. Which version of Hassan Whiteside is this? Is this pre-contract Hassan Whiteside or post-contract? Because pre-contract Hassan Whiteside, you know, he was a he was doing his things. This man here, yeah, bro. I have him. He's one of the few NBA players I have added on Snap because he is hilarious. And we know this one. Stare him down for a second. Get his footing right. Practice shot. <sighs> See, I'm the type of person that if I made somebody fall like this, I'm going to miss the shot. I'm gonna miss the shot. It's too much pressure. There's too much pressure on him to make this shot. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's just buckets, bottoms. Nasty, bro. Nasty, bro. James Harden's career mixtape is ridiculous. Okay, Kyrie in the playoffs up 3 0. It's over. It's over. And that man, you know how many game winners, game tires, game saving buckets Kyrie has hit from that spot? And you still give it to him? I guess it's not really you giving it to him because he, he creates so much space. But if I'm not mistaken, is this the series where... No, no, I'm getting my series mixed up. No, Stanley Johnson, I think, came out before this series and said that Detroit was winning in six or something like that. And Kyrie put the clamps on. 
One Jackson, the three. And he put the clamps on the, to take this, take home Game the series. Over. Cavaliers win. And Reggie Jackson can't believe it. They it has been five years Detroit since this clip, and Reggie Jackson still has not found a brush. The man here is nappy every single time I see him play basketball. Larry Nance, kick out. Okay. Oh, back to Larry Nance. Don't jump. Don't jump. Oh, don't jump. And then the finger guns. Listen, the only finger guns I know is is Joe Kim Noah putting them at the, putting them in the holster. But Larry Nance brought him out. Mm, mm, mm. Don't jump with Larry Nance. You know who his father was? Oh, yeah. He climbed the ladder on, on Robin and then stared him down. But then he ran away. So is this really a savage moment? Because Robin Lopez was about to get on that boy. And he was running away. And look, he can't even, he's scared to look back because they know that Robin Lopez, he may not be about to hurt you, you know what I'm saying? But he's a scary looking dude. From the sideshow, Bob, hair all the way down. I'm not messing with Robin Lopez. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. But come on, don't be so hurt about it. You know what I'm saying? Don't be so hurt about it. Terry Rozier. Don't try that. Don't try that. Don't try that. You should have known better. Green drives, misses. First of all, Jeff Green had a big game that game seven. And LeBron did put the team on his back like nothing I've never seen in this game. In the game seven. I, I was watching this game seven with my pops, and we were in we were both amazed. Not only in LeBron, but in the young uh Celtics team. You know what I'm saying? The fact they were even there. And then you got the Jason Tatum dunk and everything. Like this series was a really good one. Really good one, but LeBron. Give him credit? No, I'm not giving him credit because he tried it. Anybody can try it. It's about getting the success. Oh, this is a. The shimmy would have been way more impactful if they would have won this series. Simple. It's cool. It's a cool moment. And and Chris Paul, I love him, but like, we need they, we needed y'all to win this series. The world needed y'all to win this series. You know what I'm saying? And I like that Steph Curry did nothing but laugh at it. Okay. We got Ben Simmons. Guard about him. Oh, this is, this is Joel and B. Dunk on. Yeah. And then the real savage moment, I hope that they show it, is the moment after where Russell Westbrook is staring him down after getting the victory. Because, I mean, sure, that's cool. That's cool. But what counts more than anything is that W. You know what I'm saying? It's a W at the end of the game. Okay. I miss watching Kevin Durant play, so this is cool. Give it up to Boogie. And these these boys were teammates like a season later. Less than a season later. Mm. Mm. Nasty. Quit playing with me is what he was saying to the bench. Quit playing with me. I miss Boogie too, bro. There's so many players. But like because of injury, we haven't seen in a minute. And Boogie's one of those guys. Uh-oh. John Wall. Look at the speed on John Wall. Hey, y'all not clipping me and putting me on Reddit this time around. Hey, Kelly Oubre, good dunk. That's all we can say. Good dunk, Kelly Oubre. But, I mean, look at that man. Didn't lose eye contact. Anyway, Steph Curry. Guard about LeBron. I think LeBron caught this one, didn't he? Yeah, and then he did the look back. The look back meme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. I got to rewatch this whole series. I got to rewatch this whole series. Just, oh, every time I see highlights from it, this man LeBron's like, bro, quit playing with me. Do you not remember who I am? Shout out to my boy Super Mario, man. Step over him, Mario. I was, I, I was at this game, y'all. I was at this game in the garden. I was at the game in the garden. The the electricity of the garden after this dunk was ridiculous. Mm. And then Giannis said if he ever did that again, he's gonna punch him in the nuts. That's what that's what Giannis said afterwards. Yeah. Uh Nick tickets are really expensive, even when they're bad, if you didn't know. Oh, this is uh <laughs> we call this a savage moment. Oh, no, because it is Ben Simmons saying, like, we don't guard him out there, which is ironic because you, you get why it's ironic. Anyway, this whole series had a lot of uh, a lot of things going on. I was at game one of this series, too. I was at game one of this series, too. And, uh, yeah, a good game. I was sitting courtside game one at this series. 
And they made me listen, listen, listen. That video is on House of Highlights if you want to see. It's like we did a full, like, what is it like being courtside? Uh, part of the video was me buying a 76 jersey, which is cool, but I really wanted the Brooklyn Nets to win this series because I love the underdog. And then when the Brooklyn Nets won the first game and I was sitting there in a 76 jersey without, like, because I didn't really have a say, I was really upset about it. I would have loved to be there uh, as a Brooklyn Nets fan and talking trash to the people next to me. They were Philly fans, but I couldn't do that because I had a Philly jersey on. And then D'Angelo Russell literally fell in my lap. It, the game in general, fire. Fire atmosphere and Philly. For Wells Fargo, yeah, they were booing. They were doing everything. <laughs> Y'all remember when Jared Dudley had cornrows? Because those, those were crazy times. Giannis, one on three. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. And air ball leads... It's three black jerseys right there. And it's just, when you're stronger and you're better, you're just stronger and better. What can I say? And he stared him down. LeBron. Oh, oh my God, bro. This is old LeBron, bro. Remember, this is 34, 35-year-old LeBron doing that. The ferocity of that dunk. And what is Bielitsa doing? If you're going to take a torch, say take the torch. What are you doing? Either way. Uh, shout out to the, to the highlight creator, of course. Um, leave a like on the video. I dropped the video over on all of my channels today. It's a three for one is what we're calling them. So, if you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just come back later because we'll be back.